We're starting to... Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. He was tall sick, man. Uh, what was it? Oh, seven points. Or, not seven. 13, 22. Uh, number I would have loved seven. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number 11 time in the country, man. How do you feel about the race? Excellent. I mean, I know we mentioned Arkansas a second ago. I don't know if that's going to make it in. Yeah. But, uh, um, basically, like, I've never really been focused on where I'm at. It's always about where I'm going. And, uh, you know, I got so much faith in Coach Santos and the training I'm putting in with my teammates. You know, I wasn't worried for a second. Um, you know, indoor season's short. Because I do European cross at the end of cross country season, it's even shorter. So I got to be realistic with where I'm at. And uh, days like today are, you know, like everything I'm hoping for. Just, you know, being able to earn my ch myself a chance to hopefully, you know, compete in the postseason, represent Stanford as much as I possibly can. And uh, that's what I was out there running for. Yeah, so um, it, too far out of the 5K is going to be your racist um, indoor season. Of course, 10K national champion for cross country. So yeah. um, coming off, actually, let's talk about that. Coming off of that, um, how, how has your kind of confidence been this this winter time? Oh, I mean, you know, you know finishing that, that last cross season the way I did, you know, changes everything. Uh, you know, I always thought I was one of the top guys in the country. But um, it's it's not easy, but it's, it's doable to be up there. But it's really hard to beat everyone on the day. So, you know, that really gave me confidence, not in myself as an athlete so much, but more in my preparation. And so, you know, I've been able to, in those harder times, you know, like I've been able to rely on uh, those sort of techniques that I did, you know, to get myself in that fitness. And uh, it gave me a lot of confidence that I'd be able to get back there by the end of this season. Today in the race, uh, you and Kip Rock from, uh, I forget what you uh, but uh, yeah, you were Kip Rock. You made a move. Did you know that he was right there on your shoulder? He was um, very calm and collected that Yeah, I mean, I, I, I knew he was there, but uh, you know, indoor season isn't so much about placement, it's definitely more about time. So I was trying to keep myself you know, as contained as possible. I knew we were running fast, I wasn't doing the math really in my head, but I knew we were clicking 31s and 32s, which is what we had to do. So I put in a surge, you know, because it's like, no matter how fast we run, it does help to get that one extra spot guaranteed by beating everyone in the race. So, but uh, no, I wasn't too worried about that. Mostly I was just trying to get the job done, run a fast time, and uh, hopefully make it to uh, Nationals. Did you expect you'd have to leave that lead that early on in the race, or? Uh, not until recently, you know, we, we thought we were gonna have a lot more teammates out here, but uh, you know, Coach is very candid with me. You know, he's, he's tried to teach us this whole season about, you know, doing the work ourselves. Um, and so, you know, I kind of knew that it was gonna be, you know, he asked me if I actually wanted to go out slower just because I, I was pretty much gonna be out by, by myself. And I said, you know what? F it, we ball, uh, let's see what we can do. Um, that F is a trick, by the way, not uh, anything else. But yeah, basically it was just, uh, it was just believing in myself and, and it's like it's indoor season, why not give it a shot, you know? It's for like, sure. if we're not racing to make it to nationals, what are we out here doing? So yeah, there was never really a doubt for me, but uh, very validating performance to say the least. Yeah, so you're a Strava guy, you've been grinding out the 100 plus mile weeks. Uh, yes. So how, how the legs feeling overall? Do you feel like you're, uh, you know, you still got some pressure up to do heading into uh, Well, yeah, nationals? yeah, I would take a look at kind of Look around Pac-12 last year, that's where I'm around now roughly. You know, I was cranking out 100, 105, feeling pretty sluggish, but uh, you know, I'm talking to my teammate Rob Guidonato who's doing similar stuff, Devin Hart also cranking tons of mileage in it. And uh, the whole MO is just trust, you know. When we, it feels terrible when you're doing it, but when we come down, you know, it feels like nothing else. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's good to be kind of heading into that point of the season and hopefully we can keep it snowballing from here. For sure. So are you out there, uh, or you ask your question, Will you, will you taper down for NCAA indoor? A little bit, a little bit, yeah. I mean, I run about 90 miles this week. Um, but uh, we'll definitely taper. I mean, it's a national meet, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, like, outdoors is the main focus. I'm more of a 10K guy, but, uh, you know, we're going to go up to altitude, you know, put the boxing gloves on and uh, see what we can do. So, yeah, we'll taper down, you know, try and keep it competitive, but also keep our eyes on, on the horizon focused on, you know, which is the most important. The mile tomorrow, you're, you're entered in. Are, are you still running it? Are you, how are you playing that out? You yeah, distance? that's a great still question. I, um, I'm, it's a conversation I have to have with my coach probably immediately after this. But, uh, you know, all options on the table. We'll see what happens. Uh, but, yeah, I can't make any promises. So, again, Strava, it's got to go to the Strava questions. Yeah, are, are yeah. you more of a, are you, are you chasing segments or are you chasing local legend status? That's a good question. I don't have to chase local legends because I'm super boring and I like to do the same run every day. So they come naturally to me. It's always fun when it pops up. Uh, and I like sending out those uh-ohs to other people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in terms of segments, like, we have a couple that, that are, like, where our workouts generally are. Just lost mine to Kai Robinson, so that thing was pretty fresh. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fun within the team. I don't look at it too much, though, because, you know, you got to keep the easy days easy. Fair enough. Uh, I know you're racing again tomorrow, so let's say tomorrow race goes well. What are, what are you doing to celebrate? Is there, like, a particular meal that you're eating, or, like, what, what are you doing? I know it's early season, Probably a so. long run. You know, it's my favorite thing to do in the world, so... 
yeah, I just, and uh, I'm very lucky that's what I enjoy. So, yeah, especially at this point in the season, you know, try to keep our head down, you know, not much to celebrate until uh, March. So, yeah, that's kind of the way I think about it. Fair enough. Yep. Awesome, man. Congrats. Thank you so much. Great talking to you guys.